Hello and welcome to the tutorial series by QuickSight.com. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to navigate through your cPanel and to change the logo of your site. So first, assuming that you have logged into your cPanel, you're going to want to go into your legacy file manager or you can go into your file manager. I, I prefer the layout of the, the legacy though. And of course as a customer of QuickSight.com, um, as part of your account, you get a fully featured cPanel account, complete with Fantastico in the works. And when you click your legacy file manager, it's going to pop open a new window, file manager, and these folders and files are going to represent the folders and files that make all of this happen, make your website work and the place to start looking for where your logo is located is go to the templates folder and you'll notice that you have several folders or several templates in here each folder represents a separate template and you can see that on the back end in the template manager here notice how the folders and the name of the template here correspond and we know that we're going to be working in this template folder because that is the one, the gold star, is uh, for the default template that we're using. And if I go in here and look, I'm using default style number three. Now again, just keep in mind, each template is going to be its own creation, meaning all these options on the right-hand side here are going to be specific to the template that you get. Uh, typically what you'll find is free templates have less options, but templates that you can pay for um, will have more options. So just keep that in mind and we'll go in here and it's going to be under images and I was in style 3 and there is the logo logo p.png and to make sure that's the logo that's what a picture of it is and you can always click the URL in your cPanel to go look at it so basically if you want to change your logo that's where you do it you would simply delete this file delete the file and then you would upload new file and you would browse for the picture on your desktop or on your system and you'd click upload and you would have to make sure that either when you uploaded it it had the same name as logo.png or when it does get uploaded um, regardless of whatever the name is you can always click on the file name and then go over to rename file and then physically name it logo.png and then click rename and then uh, whatever file you have there will now show in place of this and obviously you can tell I mean when it comes to logo creation and graphic design you're going to want to make sure that uh, it's formatted correctly so this png image is transparent so if I were to change this uh, background up here to blue um, there wouldn't be like a white box around it, like a JPEG or a GIF file. And uh, of course you're going to want to make sure it's the right size. Obvi obviously if it's too big it will uh, distort your template or may not look right, in which case you do have options to change the height and width of the certain sections of your template. And how you would do that is go into the template you're working with and you would edit some of the CSS style sheets. Now going into this is a little beyond the scope of this tutorial um, but typically you do this in the template underscore CSS dot CSS you'd click that and click edit and this is a this would require a little knowledge of style sheets but it's also kind of intuitive it uh, just spells out what uh, the behavior of different modules in different areas should be. So if you actually wanted to expand the top of this to let's say be taller, you would take care of that in the style sheet. And that is how you add a logo. And again, each template is going to be a little different um, in its folder path and also in its uh, CSS style sheets, how they uh, manifest and tell the website to to look and show. But uh, either way, 
your template folder, regardless of what template it is, that's where your logo is going to be. And just depending on how that template was built, almost always there's going to be a folder called images and typically you'll be able to find it in there. So for example, this template, instead of having different styles, it has different colors, which are basically different styles. And within each style, you have the corresponding pictures that would make the site look blue, for example. And here are some basic pictures that are used throughout. And of course, adding a logo is a very important part of your business because it is all about branding. You're wanting to get that name, that look, that quicksite.com out to the world, and so that's what you're going to want your company to do. So obviously, um, getting a logo, getting the correct logo may take some time, may take some uh, graphic design work, but uh, in the long run, it's well worth it um, in terms of branding your company's name. So that is the conclusion of this tutorial. Hope it helped.